Hi there, I'm Ben Larson, the owner of Unleashed, and I want to thank you for taking the time to check out this video about what is entailed in boarding your dog at Unleashed. So, a lot to get to. Let's get started. And we'd start by, well, how the heck do you book a reservation? Easiest and most efficient way is to go to our website, unleashedmadison.com, click on the Book Now button, and then you can add yourself first and create an account as the human, followed by clicking Add a Pet and add your dog, or if you have more than one, add more than one. From there, you can go ahead and request a reservation, and you'll get an email confirming that you requested the reservation. And then if we look it over and everything's good, we'll send you a confirmation email. If not, we'll give you a call, we'll sort it out, and then we'll send you a confirmation email. If the online thing isn't your thing, just call us, and we'll uh, we'll get you set up there with a boarding reservation as well here at Unleashed. All right, items to bring. A very important question because we, we discourage you from bringing too much. It just gets too cluttered, and, and we risk sometimes losing items or getting them uh, chewed up or destroyed. So uh, we absolutely need Bordetella, Distemper, and Rabies vaccines on board for your dog to stay at Unleashed. You can email proof of them to our uh, email address. You can upload them into your customer portal. You can have your vet email them to us, or you can bring them when you come, uh, and we can get that all set up to make sure your dog is safe and everybody else is safe here at Unleashed. Enough of your dog's food for the length of the stay. Very important because we don't want your dog to get the GI distress of having to switch over to our kennel food. So make sure you bring enough of the food to last the whole stay. Any medications or supplements your dog is taking, bring them. Let us know the dosage and, and how much and when. Uh, and we'll go over that with you at checkout and we'll get your dog all set up. Uh, what do we provide so that you don't have to bring? Well, food bowls. We provide water bowls. We provide. Please don't bring those. Uh, also, we provide water constantly. Always for your dog, 24-7, so there's always an opportunity for your dog to, to drink when thirsty. Uh, and then a blanket for coziness. We also provide uh, Coranda beds, so we don't want you to bring your own bed. You can talk to us if you really want to do it, uh, and we can make some exceptions, but by and large, we want to bring, uh, we want to provide our own beds, which I'll show you here. Toby is uh, going to demonstrate uh, a nice raised bed to get off the floor, to relax, to sleep at night. So that's provided uh, with every kennel here at Unleashed. All right, so... What will a typical day look like for your dog? Well, that's a great question. Two hours of playtime in the morning, two hours in the afternoon with every dog who boards at Unleashed. Now, if your dog can't have playtime because they don't do well in group, that's okay. We've got a separate outdoor area for your dog to be solo in, to stretch the legs, to go potty when needed. So still, we'll get the two hours outside or uh, somewhere where they can stretch their legs and get out of the kennel. Meal times 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. after those playtimes. Lights out 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Now, the enhancements are a lot of fun. Uh, you want to add daycare, the full day of play for your dog stay? We can do that. Here's a little example of what that might look like. Uh, and you can see dogs uh, interacting, having some fun. And again, if they don't like group play, we can do the one-on-one -on -one play time or walks. So one-on-one -on -one play time, you can choose your activity, maybe a little fetch, maybe a little run around with a rope toy, uh, whatever you choose. We'll go over that at check-in and you can choose those or uh, enrichment activities as well. We can do that. Or again, a nature walk, which is out on a leash, around our property for 15 minutes to get all the smells in in our green space. So we have three acres of property here at Unleashed, and your dog can play out on those with a nature walk as well. Another fun add-on that a lot of people choose is the frozen Kong treat after dinner at night. Toby's back to demonstrate that for you. Uh, in the kennel, give them something to do, you know, kind of before bedtime where they'll... Uh, Trying to get all the frozen peanut butter out of the Kong, the frozen applesauce, or frozen uh, pumpkin is the, are the three options we provide. So we can do that as well, and that's a, a fun one for the dogs and a good uh, popular one here at Unleashed. Also, text updates for you, the human. You want to know how your dog's doing? Uh, we'll send you a picture and a detailed text of what's going on, how the stay is going, so you can uh, kind of stay connected and, and uh, keep in touch with us here at Unleashed about uh, how things are going. Important things to remember, uh, different dogs react very differently to the kennel environment, so don't be worried. We will make sure that everything goes well. Some dogs race right back because they can't wait to play. Some dogs are very timid and shy, and we're going to uh, read each dog and understand what they they need from us uh, to make sure their stay is very good. Dogs will behave differently when they get home. Some dogs will drink a lot of water because they forgot they were thirsty during the stay, even though they have water all the time. Very common. Dogs might not act the same. They might sleep a lot for two to three days after because it can be a pretty stimulating experience, and they're kind of worn out. It's a good thing, but don't worry too much if they're not acting themselves for a couple days after they come home. The way we charge for boarding is just like a human would charge, you get charged at a hotel. Uh, the first day you're there gets charged. Then whether or not you get charged for the last day depends on when you pick up. 
If you pick up between 7 and 10, you won't get charged. If you pick up between 4 to 6 in that window, you will get charged. So just to keep that in mind as you're booking the reservation and what you can expect to pay. Weekend stays are at least a two-day charge, Saturday through Sunday. A minimum three-day charge if you stay Friday through Sunday. And summertime and holiday, uh, they book up. So be sure to get know where you're going and, and uh, take care of your dog's reservation in advance because we will fill up oftentimes during summers and holidays here at Unleashed. Finally, how do you contact us? Well, unleashedmadison.com is the, the best way to get a hold of us. That's our website. You can use the chat box, uh, chat bot at the bottom right-hand corner and chat with us directly from the website. You can uh, email us uh, on the screen there. You can call us, of course, and you can text us to that same phone number, and we text a lot with our customers as well. So that is uh, the best way to get a hold of us at Unleashed. Again, that's kind of what's entailed when you board with us. If you have any more questions, please do contact uh, contact us. I, I want to thank you again for watching the video. If you have a friend with a dog, share the video. Let them know that Unleashed is available for them, and we'd love to meet you and your dog, but let's be honest, mostly your dog at Unleashed very soon.